Today's story is The Koala Who Could by Rachel Bright. In a wonderful place at the breaking of dawn where the breezes were soft and the sunshine was warm. A place where the creatures ran wild and played free. A koala called Kevin clung from a tree. He's right. A nicer grey fellow you never would meet, as soft as a soft thing, from ear tufts to feet. His favourite way was to relax in the sun, was to cling and to nap and to munch a leaf bun. He was terribly good at all these three things. Yes, Kevin was king of the staying still kings. You see, High up was safe since he liked a slow pace, while the ground down below seemed a frightening place. Too fast and too loud and too big and too strange. Nope, Kevin preferred not to move nor to change. So he clung to his tree as he knew how to do and was never too keen to try anything new. So when Wombat stopped by and shouted one day, Hey, Kevin, why don't you come down here and play? Um, I think, he replied, I should stay on my plant. I'm busy right now. No, sorry, I can't. Why not, cried the ruse. Who liked the idea? Why? Oh, yes, why? called the dingoes. You've nothing to fear. But Kevin, who wasn't the do things quick sort, said, I've clinging to do, but thanks for the thought. As Kevin sat watching them chatter and share, a part of him wished he could join in down there. But he knew he'd miss home in the dark and the late. The whole thing was risky. Adventure could wait. Whatever the invite, he, he'd always say no. Oh dear, it seemed Kevin just couldn't let go. So his life was the same no matter the day. The weeks came and went and the months rolled away. And Kevin stayed still while the world moved around until he awoke to a worrying sound. <gasps> tap, tap, the sound went. Well, this was a blow. Tap, tap, -ty, tap, 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 tap. <gasps> oh, no. Uncling, the crowd called that had gathered below. Leap and we'll catch you. Just let yourself go. But Kevin was scared. Let go. No, I shan't. I won't, clung on Kevin. Oh dear, I just can't. And then it says, whoomph. Down came the tree with a crackling, with a cracking and pinging. Crash and a wallop with Kevin still clinging. Kevin, he carefully opened one eye and looked up at the love staring down from the sky. <gasps> then one claw by claw, he slowly unclung. He felt springy and light and happy and young. The worst he could think of had now come to pass and he was just fine. Why, he felt quite first class. So when Wombat held out, a most welcoming paw. Kevin didn't hold back any more. When Dingo asked, now will you come out to play? The crowd all joined in with a, what do you say? And even though this wasn't part of his plan, Kevin replied, yes, I think that I can. And Kevin, from then on, was always can do because 
life can be great when you try something new. And that is the end of our story. I hope you enjoyed it. We've got one more story time next Friday before it's the summer holidays. I'm missing you all lots and I can't wait to see some of you again on Monday. I'll see you soon. Bye.